far as drywall goes, same kind of thing. Um, not a lot that you can that you can talk about. Um, obvious that, that that it aren't blatantly obvious. Okay, this isn't this isn't something that oh my god I never thought of that kind right. of stuff. Wet spots, um, settling cracks like I, like we talked about earlier. Small ones are complete totally normal. They're going to happen. Houses are going to move, but if you get three foot settling cracks, holy moly, turn and run. Okay. <laughs> Um, and then nail pops. Everybody seen nail pops? Yeah. Pay, if you're having a house built, have the builder use screws, please. Too many of these guys are going through with nails in it, and five years later, then it, your kids are jumping in the, on, in the living room, and all these like, spots are showing up in the ceiling. Okay. Um, it's pretty standard now, unless they're track building or, or doing a huge townhome community or something like that, because nails are a lot quicker. Um, but most guys nowadays use, use screws, okay? Um, and then obviously that would be an issue and then that could be yeah. 700, you know, times in my house. So the, the only way to fix it, you got to dig it out, pull the nail, and then you put a screw here and a screw here. Love the whole thing. And then when the next nail pops, you do it again. Okay. Questions, concerns? Pretty straightforward. When the tape, you know, when you start seeing like, you know, the tape. Uh, Same thing. It's it's settling. Pull all of the tape down, and they. Do you don't have to pull all of it. You don't have to pull all of it. I mean, you know, a good drywall guy will, will you know, pull that section of tape down and cut it, and then and put new tape in and mud it, and, and you'll never you'll never know. It's either settling or water that causes that. Okay. Um, so you might have. A lot of times it happens in garages, too. Um, you might have some water issues. Garages tend to shake, and th there's a lot of heat from the cars. And I mean, there are a lot of there's a lot of stuff that goes on in a garage that you really don't think about. Slamming that the garage door in and out of the house 700 times a day, you know, shaking that. If it's anything like my kids, geez, you could wake the neighbors up. Um, so, but it's, it does it doesn't really mean you have to take down all the tape and retape them. But do you, all do, you should remove that tape that's sort of. Ruffles yeah, or yeah, you should. And then just retake. I'm in denial in my garage. I'm waiting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, to go over. I, I'm, I'm waiting for a, a certain amount to happen, and then I'm calling my drywall guy. And we'll, uh -huh. okay. Question: oh. If there, if there is a very thin line underneath the window on an upper level, uh, mm -hmm. from from the sill down, center of the sill or corner? Center. Okay. Gotcha. It's probably it's probably depending on the drywall joint. It could just be the, where, the two, where the two sheets meet. Mm -hmm. Because if it's pretty straight, yeah, it is. then mm -hmm. it, it's, pro it, it's probably where the drywall joint is, and, and it's just tape mud mm -hmm. really easy. And if it wasn't that, what would it be? If it's coming off the corner, well, 95% of the time, that's what it's going to be. Okay. It comes off the corners, then, then we've got issues. Mm -hmm. But if it's, something that's, mm -hmm. if it's something that's relatively straight that's in the middle of anything, yeah. it's probably just you know, the what drywall. Are the issues on the corners? If you see big settling cracks, the house is moving more than it should. Okay, so that's an indication that you've got foundation issues or framing issues or something bigger. Sm little, small little settling cracks that are coming off corners of doors and windows and cased openings and things, completely normal. The house moves and drywall doesn't. Drywall is going to crack. But when they start to get 12 inches, 18 inches, 36 inch cracks, there are bigger issues. The crazy thing about the law is I own a house. I have asbestos siding. Okay? I want it removed. I, if I rip that thing, go buy myself a respirator, rip it down, I can put it in garbage bags, and they'll take it to the dump. I can put it out in the trash. If I hire somebody else to do it, baggy the house, the guy's in the nuclear suits, it's a $15,000 process. The homeowner has the right to do the modifications himself, I could have my eight-year-old out there ripping this stuff down, completely to, to wow. screw it. Well, the chances are, if you just do it once, you're not going to end up with a problem anyway. Yeah, that's you just because it's repeated exposure. It's not a typical. Mm. A I just put up. Yeah, same same thing. Around. But we go over it all the time. We mm -hmm. put a, a um, three-eighths of an inch of fiberboard insulation at, over the top just to give us a flat surface to to go on. Bing bang boom. Yeah, yeah. Extra, yeah. yeah, and you're not ripping the house apart. Right. Exactly. How about fixing squeaky floors, squeaky wood floors? That's it. Nail issues. Um, 
<laughs> how, how do you fix it? That's a good, okay. From the bottom. Two ways. Mm -hmm. You either find the squeak, get a three inch lag screw, find the, find the, uh, the floor joist and uh -huh. right through it, fill it, fill it and stand. Uh -huh. okay. Or that's, but you'll, you're going to see that. If it's under, a, I, my client McLean, same thing with the hot water heater, had the same issue. Mm -hmm. um, we had to uh, go up underneath it. You got somebody jumping on the thing trying oh, to find okay. it. Okay. And then you, it's nothing but screws and, and you just try and cleat it down and, and do so, because it's, a, it's actually the subfloor. It's, mm -hmm. it's not the flooring itself. Mm -hmm. It's the plywood mm -hmm. that's moved or, or maybe the, the floor joist isn't perfectly straight. It's got a little bit of a hump in it so, it, you know, the, so the subfloor doesn't, doesn't sit, sit exactly flat. One it's a more painting, floor. Painting what about one more floor question. I do have a room over a garage, thinking about hardwood flooring it. Mm -hmm. Would it be worth, when that happens, taking out the subflooring, putting in more insulation between the garage and the bedroom, and then putting the floors in? Would that be worth the trouble? Yeah. yeah, oh yeah. No? Well, or what's, floor. is there, is there an accident? Heated floor, that'd be good. <laughs> what's up there right now? Uh, is it finished or is it unfinished? Yeah, it's completely finished, the bedroom. Is there a bathroom up there? Right next to it, yes. There's probably an access panel somewhere in the garage. Where you can pop that down and look uh, and see shoot see there. if there's any insulation, and then depending on the location, if it's in the middle, you have somebody come in and shoot insulation in all the way through. If it's all the way on one side, you can't really do it to this right. side. But in for a penny, in for a pound, you know, um, mm -hmm. have that subfloor taken. That is up. an issue in that room. Like it's, yeah. it's cooler in the winter by far, and the same. The yeah. Hot. yeah. What about the asbestos tiles in the ceiling? You were talking about everything else you can cover. <sighs> the, the the higher you know, something like this, mm -hmm. hire an asbestos in abatement company. Mm -hmm. I mean, I won't, I, I've done them before. It makes me hell nervous. Mm -hmm. um, you know, but I've got a guy that lives in my neighborhood that is a gazillionaire because he's the only guy that will, that goes into all these hazmat situations and takes care of it all. He's been doing it for about 15 years and holy moly. He's very, very good, but it's expensive. It's, you know. It's, it's ridiculous. For, for me, I, I'm lead paint certified. The, the steps that I have to do to replace windows or siding when there's lead paint around are ridiculous. I mean, it, not ridiculous, it, 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 they're safe, but it's, they're crazy, let, let alone asbestos. Yeah. Good? Mm -hmm.